Two stars, shining their brilliance for over a decade in the cosmos. One day, something happens, and the two stars begin collapsing in on each other, forming a new, less brilliant star. The universe is unaware of its loss. This new star is the only one aware of the two missing stars. Does the universe even care that it has lost two of its lights? And if that one star figured out a way to bring back the other two, would the universe care that it sacrificed itself? As we journey through the rift, I want to ask a new question. Why can't all three exist? Felicia, how's the modification to the shields coming? Parameters of the rift are ever-changing. Adjusting frequencies of the shield harmonics to match will take more time. Every moment we wait, more and more strange things are happening out there in the Minecraft verse. We have to find a way through and stop whatever is causing this. Understood, Captain. I'll continue trying to match the harmonics of the rifts. One more thing, Felicia. Have you noticed that the background music and various broadcast signals is different from previously intercepted signals? I have, Captain. Analysis of music found in recent broadcasts reveals that the music is in fact different than previously heard. Can we use the frequency of the music to calibrate the shields? Negative, Captain. Each piece is on a different frequency, adjusting the parameters of the shields to match the various music would not allow physical travel through. Wait, physical travel? Could we piggyback the music and send the signal through? It is possible, though whether or not anyone on the other side could receive such a signal is unknown. What's the worst that could happen? A loud interruption of static could be heard echoing off of any other signal. This would persist for some time and be disruptive to any who the signal interacts with. How long this would persist and duration of is unknown. Anyone who encounters this signal would be affected differently. Well, it's a start. We have to try something. Send this. This is Natanus Lycans. I am a cleaner who has been assigned the task of investigating your silence over the past year. Monitoring order and jurisdiction around nearby galaxies has concerns. Rifts of all type have been detected opening across the Minecraft verse. Please respond, Hermetheus. Natanus Lycans out. Broadcasting message on all frequencies. Hello, Minecrafters and Redstoners. I'm Natanus Lycans. How y'all doing today? I'm having a good... Good day so far. Sorry. Just kind of lost track there. Very quickly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so today's episode... Assuming we are going to break it up into three pieces again, because that's usually what happens. I end up with way too much footage and not enough time. Now, before we get on to today's episode, uh, we're going to be doing quite a bit of building and preparation for actually working on the steampunk city that I have planned. Uh, I've got a, a few builds planned as of right now. They're still a work in progress, but I wanted to get some foundations laid down for the city at hand. But before we get to that, we went in search of something in our last episode that will hopefully help me in understanding the rift and uh, who caused it, what caused it, where it came from, and all that jazz. And I have it right here. Here you go. Here's the disc. I've managed to piece together the information I could find. I have not listened to it fully yet. And unfortunately, Minecraft doesn't have a pause button for this kind of thing. So we're going to have to play it all the way through. And then, uh, you know, figure out what we can find within it. So without further ado... Let's listen and see what we can figure out. Okay, that sounded like a summoning. 
That's somebody lighting a torch. Oh, we got soldiers marching. A lot of soldiers. We're talking ancient. And it appears they're going into some kind of void. Okay, so that's something miscellaneous that got mixed in. Uh, yeah, the data was very badly corrupted, so it, it may not be all together. And I may have mixed in some pieces that don't belong there. Hopefully this will be over and we get... Oh? Okay, we got the sounds of lava. Some kind of creature. Somebody's coughing. Sounds like they're tinkering with something. Possibly a portal generator? Okay, they're placing it down. Okay, something big is pounding on a door. More footsteps. That doesn't sound like a soldier this time. That sounded more like shambling. Oh. That sounded like a couple of things. Okay, hush footsteps. The block in the That's a warden. Hmm. Interesting. So somebody was attacked by a large force. And it sounds like they may have had a wither skeleton on them. Uh, that sounds like a, an army of undead. Clad in armor. Uh, is that the end of it? Is that all we managed to get? Okay, so it sounded like to me somebody out there in the Minecraft verse was under an attack from an undead army. And I keep getting the torch in my face. Uh, and uh, in order to try and get away from this approaching army, it sounds like they had their tinkersmiths messing with some kind of portal generator. Only they accidentally opened a portal to the Nexus. That's not good. If you're not a portal builder or a portal navigator or rift navigator, that can lead to serious problems, as you just heard. Uh, because it sounds like they opened up a portal to the Nexus, and immediately the Skulk started coming into our universe, or our universes. From what I can tell, uh, this is widespread. It's everywhere. It has gotten into every single universe out there, as far as I can tell. But then it kind of switches and sounds like maybe they're hiding from the attacking force. And then they, they actually managed to get the portal uh, up. But yeah, again, the they activated a portal into the Nexus, which is a very bad thing. I'm not sure as a standalone cleaner I can shut off an entire Nexus portal, especially when it's this widespread. Um, Oh, that's bad. That's very, very bad for the universe of Minecraft. That's one of those uh, genies that's once it's out of the bottle, you can't put that back. Uh, Skulk and the Warden is probably here to stay in our universe, which is not a good thing. But, yeah, that seems to be all we can get from that. Um, uh... 
Okay, uh, so all I really learned from that is that somebody was under an attack. I have no idea who or where, but it sounded like they were under attack from a undead army, possibly skeletal warriors. Uh, I haven't seen those on very many planets. Yeah, uh, I can't think of... Well... Actually, when I was in the Diabloverse, uh, helping clean up a portal issue over there, yeah, we, we came across Skeletal Warriors, but that sounded like a lot more of them. Um, either way, I have no idea where or who opened the portal to the Nexus, but... Yeah, that's where we stand. Uh, there's going to be a lot coming with that. I, you know what? Let's let's get off this downer and let's jump straight into what we got planned today as far as getting the city up and running, getting the foundation going, and uh, working towards our end goal of having a steampunk-styled city. So grab a drink, grab a snack, Let's crank up the tunes and get this time lapse rolling.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, time lapse. Uh, we are over here at the basalt and cobblestone farm because during that process, we used up quite a bit of our cobblestone. So I had to do an overnight AFK session over here. And uh, we've got quite a bit more. I don't know how far this is going to carry us based on how much we are to use. And it's all the way up to about here. But we do have this one that is full for some reason. I don't really know why, but it is. And it kind of skipped that one. Uh, I don't think I skipped one of these when I was taking from this. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time here. But with that being said, let's go over and do a flyover of our area. And it's night already. That figures every time I go to record, it's night. So let me sleep real quick. And then we'll uh, head over there and try to get a bird's eye view. Though I'm still trying to figure out how people do that because it's just too fast if I'm trying to look at something but as you can see uh we i did extend the road you know let's just go to our port uh, our porch our perch and... yay okay so i did extend this portion of the road it is starting to get up to and matching with the rest of our area uh, i've got the render distance turned down again uh, it was being a little bit laggy at 20. Uh, so we got some of this worked out. As you can see, we got a little bit of the road going. Now, from the size perspective, it looks pretty grand. But as I was doing some measurements as far as how big some of the builds are going to be, um, this is actually quite small. Our builds are going to be that big. So yeah, we got a lot of work to do to get our roads in place and get the city built. Uh, it is going to be a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. And that's just based on what little work we've already done. Now, you may be wondering what's with the giant purple box or magenta box, whichever. Uh, this is the start of our town hall. And uh, we're going to build up a town hall. I've already been working in a creative world to design it. And uh, I have gotten pretty good reviews on it. So hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll have a good chunk of this built up. But in the meantime, there is a resource that we just simply don't have enough of. And we don't have an easy way of getting as of right now. And that is copper. We need a lot more copper. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do between uh, clips and portions of the episode is I'm going to go and do a live stream. Today is August 9th. So yeah, we're going to go do a live stream of me just trying to collect up copper because we, we, we need a lot more copper. Uh, let's go show what I've got currently. And considering some of the plans and considering the town hall, I don't think we've got nearly enough. I mean, I haven't even finished my original starter house yet. And holy cow, it never occurred to me just how small it is compared to some of the things we've built since we started this world. Yeah, we got some up here. Uh, I was gathering up a bunch of granite the other day and we did find quite a bit more. So here's all the copper that we currently have. It, it is quite a bit, but, you know, four of these, oh, no, 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 I always forget, it's nine. So yeah, nine of these makes one copper block. Yeah. And then we do this to make the cut copper. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. And there you have it. We got the cut copper that looks like... I guess the icon is just weird. But this, this is the main thing that we need to get. And 
we just simply don't have enough right now. If all these are going to make uh, one stack, I think we're going to need quite a bit more. And it looks like I need to fill up the lava. If we run over here and go into my house and look at my storage, you'll see that I do have a bit over here as well. But again, I just, for our plans and how much we are going to build and how big some of these are going to be. Okay, where, this one? Yeah. Yeah, this is what we got here. We got just under nine stacks of cut copper. And we've got only like 50 stairs of cut copper. Uh, we're in a need of... We're, we're, we're in desperate need of copper for some of our builds. So yeah, that is my plan for today and the rest of the video. I've got to get a bunch of copper up and we'll probably go back and work on the city layout a little bit more during this episode. But I really would like to get started on the town hall for this episode. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see how long it is. If, if the video is long enough, I am going to do the same thing where I cut it up into three portions where you get the intro on my spaceship. In the first episode, the second episode, we're not going to have any of that. And then the third episode? Well, yeah, technically it is an episode. It's part one, part two, and part three. And part three will be the conclusion in the ship. Um, so yeah, on that note, leave me some comments on how you think that story arc is going. Uh, I feel like I'm jumping too much on it like it's not being meshed together but I don't really have any input on it so you leave me some comments on that and uh, I'm gonna get to it get on to the twitch and uh, stream me gathering up some copper so uh, I'll be back when uh, that is done and we've got stuff to work with okay okay I know what you're thinking that's a lot of cobblestone and it's very very plain very boring but trust me, as any good cook knows, you have to start with the base before you get to the finished product. Alright, so I'm going to get back to it and uh, rock out with some music that I've been listening to. Uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. No ranting, no uh, advertising for other YouTubers or anything. But yeah, we're just going to get right back into it. Okay, take two. Yeah, the first one, uh, the... I don't know what I did wrong. It didn't record. And I was talking quite a bit about what is going on and what I'm doing. Yeah, so let's try this again. Now, over here, uh, you can see we got a few uh, copper blocks sitting out. They are aging up. Uh, I had a whole lot more sitting out. If we walk over here to this guy, you can see that we got a few oxidized coppers in here. We're still waiting on a few more. And... We also need to find a better spot to put these down. Uh, I am thinking over beside our work area. That way they're over there oxidizing while we're working. So let's go on and fly over there and try not to ramble this time around. Now I have done a little bit of work between clips. And we have a lot more cobblestone up. Again... Uh, don't judge the cobblestone because eventually a lot of this will be hidden and uh, it won't be as ugly as it currently is. Now, you can see we got no half slabs there. I need to fix that so you can walk up and down it. So I've got this entire area uh, filled in with cobblestone. This is basically our base for being able to build all of our buildings. And then we got another section over here for the same purpose. And then that's another section of road over there. But yeah, we're probably going to put our copper blocks out here for aging while we're working on the rest of our builds over here. Now this is going to take a long time because, as you know, I plan to have all of this area as a steampunk city. And then all of this section over here on top of these mountains. That's why we have... This massive, ugly cobblestone road going up to it. And then over in this section as well. All of this is going to be our city. So yeah, we got a lot of work to do. We got quite a bit of copper we still got to collect and uh, age up. 
But for now, what I want to leave you guys with, because I have been doing the edits for part one of this mini-series, we are up to about 26 minutes. That is not including the intro. I still haven't come up with a decent idea for that. And if you're watching this over on YouTube, you've already seen it, so I have come up with an idea. Uh, tell me how it is, because I don't know right now. I've, I've got tentative ideas at the moment for that. But in part two, uh, what I want to start off with is we need to start raising up this town hall. So I need to go over to my creative world and do some measurements, see exactly how I've got it laid out, and uh, transfer it over, like start bringing blocks over here and uh, working on it. Because I know I don't have any spruce over here, I don't believe, and I don't have any barrels or any trap doors. Uh, we're going to have to make all that stuff because that's, there's quite a bit of that that's actually used in the build. Now, as far as the walls for this, I only have loose plans at the moment for that. I was thinking about doing some kind of textured thing with the uh, blackstone bricks and deep slate bricks. Words. Words are hard. But yeah, that is kind of the plan. Uh, I will probably, before we actually start building on this, uh, in part two, pull you guys over to the creative world and show you exactly what we're going to be building. Again, it is not finished. Uh, I still haven't finished up the tower that's supposed to be on it. But yeah, we'll worry about that for part two. As of part one, yeah, this is all I've got for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you leave a like. I hope you leave me a comment. Uh, our tools still don't have names. We haven't gotten any comments towards that at all. Uh, and we need a name for our bow, though. Looking at our durability, we probably need to make a new bow at some point. But yeah, I'll see you guys in part two. And hopefully we can get all of this done in this three-part mini-series. Uh, I do need to do some creative work on the tower. But yeah, that's all I got for you. And... There's pillagers over there. Yeah, let's know. Let's not get uh, ADHD right now. Uh, so I'll see you guys in part two. Bye for now. <laughs>